couple of weeks, I've taken some time off of work and uh, I've made a priority to take care of myself and rest, recharge my batteries, do things that I enjoy doing, and uh, the focus has been lower levels of stress. And so one of the things that I've been doing is drawing. I love to draw and illustrate. I'm also involved with Jesus Saves Men Ministries. And one of the things that they do each year is uh, host a fishing day. Fishing day is a local event in Merced where you can go out, uh, you can fish, you don't need a license. Uh, it's on a ranch and uh, there's a ton of fish that are injected into the stream. So if, you, if you're, you know, uh, a little kid, if you have a little kid, if you're an adult and you've uh, always wanted to try fishing, you can go out there and fish to your heart's content. Uh, no license required. There's people who are out there who will help you. And uh, it's just a really cool day. It's a cool experience. I used to take my kids there when they were little. Uh, they've caught fish there and uh, it's just really exciting for kids. A lot of really good memories and experiences from fishing day. And so, uh, what I'm working on is for people who are volunteering or going to Fishing Day, uh, we're making these t-shirts. It's going. To, it's just a good way to uh, commemorate the event. It's my beautiful wife, uh, Victoria, who's an e-bear. I think she's getting ready to go drop off some eBay packages. Uh, anyways, um, so we're making these t-shirts for the event. Volunteers are gonna wear them. So I'm on my way to Outwater and uh, we're looking at uh, getting about 50 shirts pressed. I'm gonna go talk to uh, Urban Illustrators and uh, see if they can help me out with the t-shirt request. So let's go take a look. All right, so just got to Urban Illustrators here in Atwater. Let's go in and see what we can find out about these t-shirts. So I just got a quote for shirts. I uh, was really pleased with how that conversation went. I uh, got work to do on the design, so hopefully I can get that knocked out over the weekend. And then uh, I'll show you uh, what the finished product looks like. One of the things that's happened over the past couple of weeks is my son had what's called a spontaneous pneumothorax. I didn't know what that was when he had it, but uh, it's when your lung collapses spontaneously. And so it's been uh, it's been a roller coaster, you know, just taking them in unexpectedly, uh, you know, uh, going through surgery, follow up pain, taking them back in, being in and out of the hospital over the last month or so. It's really been uh, it's really been a roller coaster. And so um, he's gone to Valley Children's uh, for help and. They've been great. The people at Valley Children are amazing. As a parent, taking my son there to get care, it really feels like Valley Children's cares about my son, our family. Uh, we've been more than uh, pleased with, with everything that they've done and, and uh, helping us through this time. Today we're going for a follow-up. He had his surgery uh, about a month ago, and uh, so we're gonna go ask questions. Uh, they're gonna look at him, run some tests, see how he's doing. Uh, it's definitely a process getting uh, getting them back to 100%, but uh, I'm hopeful, optimistic that we're gonna have a great appointment today. So uh, that's where I'm going. Surgery. Imagery entry is left. Making sure I don't get any germs. Lincoln, you can't leave. I didn't mean 
Yeah. You're so relieved. I'm just so relieved, yes. Yeah. Were you relieved? She said, what are you relieved for? She said there is no pocket outside of the lung and that Gabriel is healed. Thank you, Jesus. How do you feel, Gabriel? Stop recording everything. I want to follow around to the club. I want to talk to you. Stop, Dad. 